Mbappe is the least successful player in that squad in terms of trophies. Just saying. <laughs> what, what do you guys think about it? Was there any doubt, first of all, that Mbappe is probably not going to Madrid and going to Manchester United, for example? <laughs> or <laughs> Even Florentino Perez yesterday was saying, oh, we have to go for 16th. Like, fuck off, dude. Like, you just won the 15th league, 15th championship I mean, yesterday. But, like, moving back to Madrid, right? Like, we got this announcement today that Madrid's biggest star ever was signed from this Farmers League called PSG where Mbappe is finally <laughs> a Madrid now. player. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do you guys think about it? Was there any doubt, first of all, that Mbappe is probably not going to Madrid and going to Manchester United, for example? Or... <laughs> he was going to Saudi, bro. At one or, time. Or, I don't know. As I was yeah. saying, the Man United will definitely sign Mbappe in 20. They're drafting the contract papers as yes. we speak right now. <laughs> we will Mbappe get Mbappe when he becomes like Cavani. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, but but to answer your question, I think uh, I I don't know what Real Madrid are trying to do doing this mm. to themselves, right? I think you have Mbappe, I you think have it... the front line of Vinny mm-hmm. Junior, you have Rodrigo Bellingham, and you, know, you have that kid from Brazil, Endrick or someone. When you know, yeah. I, what what else are you trying? Because is there anything else apart from dominating the Champions League for so much? What else are you trying to achieve right now? By signing Mbappe, you are uh, well, everyone. Every, everyone accepts that you are the top dog. Everyone knows. There is no denying it. There is no argument whatsoever, right? What are you trying to prove? Yeah. What are you trying Triangle, to get at? In Triangle, terms of Triangle is on fire right now, isn't it? <laughs> 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 so... <laughs> no, but I'm just no, but okay. it it makes perfect sense, right? What we were discussing, no, because. Mm-hmm. Madrid is a squad which is just collecting good players and letting them express on the field. Like that's right. what Carlo Ancelotti is doing. Mm-hmm. And who is a better player than Mbappe to just like come and be a just do his thing and like score goals and like make the team better overall. So dude, it honestly, makes... it's perfect for him because he doesn't have to do any grunt work in Real. <laughs> yeah. Right? He has dude the midfield now is gonna look like Chaomeni, Bellingham and Kamavinga. Like Modric and Cruz are done. Modric, mm-hmm. Cruz is done, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, they have Valverde in there, all, uh, in there right. also somewhere. Mm-hmm. They have Brahim Diaz in there somewhere in that midfield. Rodrigo on the right, Mbappe up top and Vinicius on the left. And Arda Guller on the bench and Jose Lo. <laughs> and so you're saying Vinny, and Mbappe and uh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, all three start. Of start. So where is telling him? He's playing in the midfield. Midfield. He's playing but camp. this entire midfield. season, okay. So you're saying Bellingham is better off in the midfield? Yeah, I yeah. think so. I'm, I feel like he's 19, so he can play whatever right now. Like he's just been signed, and mm-hmm. all those, and all those boys have won five CLs. He'll play wherever they tell him to play. You know what I mean? I mean, right now, Mbappe is the least successful player in that squad in terms of trophies. Just saying. <laughs> true. So what? what? <laughs> Only World Cup. Only World Cup, right? And I mean, the yeah. treble. <laughs> World Cup and domestic treble. Domestic farmer's treble. treble. <laughs> and then, imagine, you do all that and then the year after, Alonso signs for them. Like, what more do you need? That is... Like, it's, it's like, it's what dynasty. are you trying to prove? What are you trying to get at? And then if you do that, at least like, you know, in a team, in a Premier League or something, then I get it because there's this constant uh, you know, competition, you know, people come, there's so much money involved and you have to kind of future-proof yourself. I get that. But what's up with La Liga, man? And I think with Champions League as well, I, I don't see a point, but okay, let them go, let them have them have their fun. Because I, I remember how much Madrid suffered in 2000, in Champions League especially. In to, from 2004 in that Galactico era when they signed every player Ronaldo, Figo, uh, Beckham, yeah. whoever they were they were losing to fucking Leon and some German club mm-hmm. Wolfsburg in round of 16 they were not going beyond I think even the even the first season when Ronaldo and Kaka signed they they lost to Leon in the round of 16 so they had this huge trauma at that point of time in, in terms of because that's why that thing it was so it was a big huge thing La Decima the 10th or whatever right mm-hmm. and and then I think they're trying to make sure it doesn't ever repeat because look at the way they kind of completely overhaul the midfield right like because they had Cruz Modric and Casemiro they exactly knew when they have to get rid of Casemiro they got rid of him and they signed Chaumeni yeah. and Valverde and and the Dude, and, and, and Kampabeka yeah 
what exactly fuck? yeah and and they got everyone and now it's it's a it's a cruise control i mean they they just don't stop man i mean it's like they don't stop to smell they to, are just... to enjoy the you know they, 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 they keep saying that thing those things right like wait stop for a second and enjoy the roses or whatever they don't do that yeah. shit no roses I'm for good. them it's just it's just next yeah. season next season next season even florentino perez yesterday was saying oh we have to go for 16th like fuck off dude <laughs> like you just won the 15th league 15th champions I mean... league yesterday enjoy it for a second no the entire mentality is what next what next what next <laughs> I yeah. mean, winning the UCL is like winning a league for them, right? So yeah, it's it's not a one-off thing that happens and then you celebrate like mad. It's like it's like an it's like BAU, like it's like the normal thing that's supposed to happen for a team like Madrid. Yeah, dude, I feel bad. But even for even in the even in the on. press conference after the match, like he was when they were like interviewing the players and all, Bellingham was like, yeah, uh, I like in throughout the season, like in the dressing room, whenever we used to talk. All these mm-hmm. guys would, would be like, "Oh, I have five Champions League, I have six Champions League with this team, and so on." And he's like, "I could not contribute to the conversation at all." So now I feel like I can at least contribute to the conversation. Like that is the mentality of players who are winning a Champions League, and like, "Oh, I can talk in the dressing room." Like, what? Where do you even go with this? The levels that go into it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, Alaba wins his second CL. Hmm. After Bayern, so sort of crazy yeah. that. So sort of crazy. Like what, five that... now, five or six. Six man, he was doing six. that six celebration yeah. yesterday. Yeah, six, yeah. six and everything, and six in March. Yeah. Angelotti has six man. They have the same number of Champions Leagues as Liverpool. I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, what the fuck, man? I mean, I I always thought, uh, like, because this was used to be like a you know a thing. For Liverpool fans, because when we didn't win anything after that 2005 Champions League final, we thought, okay, we made a deal with the devil that, okay, mm-hmm. everything that we, all the luck we had in the world, we kind of exhausted in the in Istanbul at that time, and then we didn't win anything for the next like till Klopp came in, right? Uh, that's the deal we made, and then I think the deal actually was with Ancelotti, like because we we kind of humiliated him so much from 3-0 from coming back from 3-0 down. And that fucker goes on and says, "Okay, fine. You did that to me. Now I'm going to win the same number of Champions Leagues as you win in your entire history." Mm. Yeah, sort of nuts. Like, how, how that? How we, that? I think we should all, all just stop watching football. We should go to American football or something. <laughs> Back like, to IPL. Yeah, IPL, <laughs> yeah. bro. World cricket, World Cup. I can't best. do sunrises again, bro. Sorry. <laughs> uh, sun, sunrises. Oh my god, that team. Typical United shit show. Like same thing happens <laughs> week in week out. 